<laughs> Let me just say, Sharon, I love you. I love you and thank you so much. Sharon and I met on a movie set and we connected over two things, food and fashion. And you look good tonight, girl. When I was five years old, I saw the most beautiful black woman I had ever seen in my life on television. I'm watching with my grandmother. The woman had on a long red dress and her eyelashes looked like butterflies. And I said, Grandmama, who is that? She said, baby, that's Lola Falana. <laughs> and in that moment, I felt like the Most High stamped my destiny on the canvas of my imagination. I looked at my grandmother and I said, that's what I want to be, black, fabulous, and on TV. Yeah. I stand before you tonight in a long red dress. My eyelashes look like butterflies. And I am indeed black, fabulous, and on TV. I am a witness that dreams do indeed come true. Now, if I'm honest, I never saw this life for myself. I was always an ally, but now I'm a card-carrying member. <laughs> and I, I often get asked the question, Nisi, what was it like for you when you came out? And I always say, came out of where, baby? I was never anywhere to, to come out of. I didn't live a, a sexually repressed life. I mean, I loved boys until I didn't. <laughs> I loved them until I encountered the most beautiful soul I have ever met. That's my good thing right there. Stand up and let the people look at you. Stand up, baby. Stand up. Hey! You can't love somebody like that in the shadows? Come on now. I remember being encouraged by people who loved me with this advice. You can't tell nobody what you do behind a closed door, because if you do, you will never eat lunch in this town again. I said, this town? <laughs> Just because I want to be clear, this town. Another person asked me, well, what am I supposed to tell my friends about you? And I was thinking, girl, I don't care about you or your friends. <laughs> but what I said was, if you have to tell them anything, tell them I'm happy. My relationship was never a secret, but it was private at the beginning because I was protecting it until I can give it to the world. And so during that time, I received a phone call from a person who is in my inner court. And that person is Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> and I, wa I wanna be clear, that was indeed a mic drop. Because if you've never been on the phone with the Oprah Winfrey, I feel sorry for you. This woman is like a human GPS for your soul. And she asked me one simple question. She said, are you sure, dear? Meaning, have you thought it through? Have you gone through a series of checks and balances? Are your head and your heart aligned? Because that's friendship, that's sisterhood. Having a connection with someone who wants to make sure at every moment you are advocating properly for yourself. Thank you. My response was, yes, ma'am, I'm sure. To which she said, carry on. <laughs> then I had to have conversations with all of my fairy godfathers. Ryan Murphy said, <laughs> I don't know about eating lunch in this town, but as long as I'm alive, you'll have a job. <laughs> Coleman Domingo said, ah, 
I love this for you, friend. And I will be honored to officiate your wedding. RuPaul said, don't fuck it up. When I posted my wedding photo with Jessica, people thought it was a stunt or a movie, but when they realized that it was real, we broke the internet. And we have been breaking barriers together ever since. Not only did I refuse to stay in the shadows with my better half, but as you saw in the video, we were the first same-sex couple to grace the cover of Essence magazine in 52 years. We were the grand marshals of the We Hope Pride Parade where we received the Trailblazer Award together. We also hosted the GLAD Media Awards together during the pandemic. Yeah, and we starred as lovers on the ABC series Rookie Fez. Now, my little daughter said to me, now that you're here, Mom, you got to know how you identify. I said, I do? She was like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you watch this TV show. So the TV show had thousands of terms. You know, and I guess I was supposed to pick one out of a hat after she got through. She was like, so, what are you? I'm like, more confused than ever. <laughs> and she was like, well, you have to pick something. And I said, I'm black and your mama? <laughs> now, go wash the dishes. I want to thank all of you for holding space for me till I figure my terms out. Thank you, because all I really know for sure is that my name is Nisi Nash Betts, and I'm a lover. That's what I know. And I will never hide the very thing I was created for. This love right here, it's like bone to the marrow. It's like peanut butter and jelly. It's like good cheese and wine. We go together, baby. Hide that good thing for what? Now, won't be me. I want to say thank you to this community for welcoming me with open arms. I feel your love, and I send it right back. I want to thank GLAD for this amazing award tonight, this honor. Thank you, Sarah Kate Ellis. Thank you, Anthony. Oh, and you know who I want to thank? I want to thank JB. I want to thank you because you are the reason, Jessica, that I am standing here tonight feeling like queer of the year. <laughs> thank you. Let's continue the fight to normalize love. God bless you all and good night.